Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video we will uh, do an FAQ on the Xiaomi Mi A1. So we are getting lot of questions on the Xiaomi Mi A1 including OTG support, notification light, uh, camera EIS, then a uh, lot of other queries uh, for fast charging and screen on time. So a lot of things we are getting on this device. So this is one of the really good devices in this price segment. So in this video, we'll uh, cover almost all aspects of the phone. I uh, will uh, try to answer all your questions uh, with this FAQ video. So without any further delay, let's get started. First step, let's talk about the sensors available on this device. So you could see that, that this device comes with almost all sensors, accelerometer, compass sensor, gyroscope, light sensor, pro proximity sensor, and all the uh, sensors are included in this device. So you don't have to worry about uh, any missing sensors so Xiaomi has included all the sensors on the Xiaomi Mi A1. Next let's talk about the display. So it has a 5.5 inch full HD display it is a 2.5 D glass you can see it's a 2.5 D glass and yes this device does come with Gorilla Glass support on this device and uh, it is uh, at Gorilla Glass 3 support on this device. Next let's talk about the SIM cards. So this phone comes with dual SIM cards. You can use uh, both the SIM cards at the same time. It's a hybrid SIM card so uh, either one SIM card and one micro SD card or you can use two SIM cards at the same time. So this device just support uh, Volti out of the box and you can also make video calls uh, using the stock dialer. Just dial the number and you get a uh, video icon uh, uh, in the dialer and you can make video calls as well. So Volti is supported on this device. You can easily make uh, calls, uh, videos as well as uh, uh, the normal regular calls using the Geo SIM card. So that's the SIM cards on the uh, uh, Xiaomi Mi A1 along with Volti support. The next is storage. Uh, so this phone comes with 64 gigabyte uh, storage. So that's the only variant available. So no other variants are available. Uh, and uh, uh, 64 gigabyte is what uh, Xiaomi offers in this device. And that's go quite good storage available. So you don't have to worry about uh, storage getting over. And you can also expand the storage via micro SD card. Uh, but uh, that's a hybrid SIM card available. So you can either use two SIM cards or uh, one SIM card and the micro SD card. Now next step, the software. So this phone comes with a stock Android. So this is a stock Android. You can see there are no apps whatsoever from Xiaomi. So Xiaomi's uh, own apps like the uh, Teams app and other uh, uh, apps uh, which are available on the Mi UI are not available on this device. So this is one uh, device which does not come with any uh, Xiaomi app and uh, this device does come with uh, IA Blaster. So you can see this device has IA Blaster included on the top panel and in case you want to use IA Blaster, you need to download the Mi Remote app uh, from the Play Store. You can download the Mi Remote app. It works perfectly on this device. So if you want to control your TV and uh, other apps so you need to just download this Mi Remote app from the Play Store uh, to get started with IA Blaster because the Mi Remote app is not installed by default. Now talking about the processor, we all know that uh, it is Snapdragon 625 octa-core chipset and uh, uh, it is uh, having 4GB RAM and 64GB storage. Next up, let's talk about the battery. So it has a 3080 mAh battery and uh, the battery performance is quite good. We already done a detailed video on the battery performance. The charging time is around two hours. Uh, that's we. Uh, that's what we got uh, when charged with uh, the Qualcomm's uh, QC 3.0 and also the regular charger. So there is no fast charging supported on this device. Even if you use third party charger, there is no fast charging included. And the screen on time we got was around six hours and 17 minutes. So that's the maximum we got. So around five and a half to six hours is uh, 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 what you can expect and uh, uh, the maximum battery life was around uh, 25 to 26 hours that's slightly more than a day now next up the speaker performance so uh, the speaker is located at the bottom panel and there is also an amplifier uh, power amplifier included in this uh, device so that makes the speaker performance really loud it's really loud uh, speaker performance and uh, a great uh, performance all around and even via headphone jack the performance of the audio is really good one of the really good devices if you are a person who loves to listen to music so speaker performance is loud enough and also this uh, ear, uh, the sound quality via earphones is also really good now next step the LED notification so this device does come with an LED notification the notification light appears here it's white in color and there is no option to customize the color like uh, Xiaomi's uh, some other devices so there is no option there it is single color and you can use uh, the notification light uh, to get notified of any calls or uh, uh, any new notifications. The next step USB OTG support as yes, this device does come with USB OTG support. We also done a detailed video on that. So you can connect uh, your computer peripherals uh, using the USB C type OTG cable. So remember this is an USB C type port. So you need a uh, USB C type cable to connect uh, uh, via the OTG cable to this device. 
next up uh, uh, quite a lot of questions on the nfc support on this device so this device does not come with nfc uh, so you cannot use for contactless payment so that's something missing on the xiaomi's mi a1 now a uh, lot of questions on the camera performance so we also done a detailed camera review of this device so a lot of questions we are getting on the eis support on this device so there is no stabilization either eis or oas both are missing on this device so so if you plan to take a lot of videos uh, make sure you hold it steady because uh, 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 since there is no uh, image stabilization videos might be jerky and also uh, uh, we'll also talk about the fingerprint scanner performance so this is the rear mount of fingerprint scanner and the fingerprint scanner is accurate but it's not the fastest out there it does take some time unlocking the device so it's not really fast out there uh, like the honor 6x or uh, even uh, uh, the moto g5s plus but it does uh, a quite good job with uh, accuracy and it's not the fastest out there so that was a uh, FAQ on the Xiaomi Mi A1. So hope uh, we have answered almost all of your queries. And if you still have any questions, uh, you can just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your questions on the Xiaomi Mi A1. So that's all guys. Uh, if you plan to buy this device, we'll share the link in the description of this video. And this is available offline as well as online. So uh, there is no flash sale for this device. Uh, so you can pick it uh, offline as well uh, uh, with uh, Xiaomi's preferred partners across India. It is available offline and both online as well so there is no shortage of devices and uh, it is priced 14 triple nine uh, for the me me a1 so that's all guys thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day